Hi boys and girls, today we are going to be working on language lesson 146 and um, the first part of it is a review. Um, we are going to review um, the use of the tesserus, um, the right meaning. So we're going to look at page 264 and we already this, did this in a previous lesson and it says the right meaning. So as we look, um, you guys are going to see this page. Um, it's going to tell you the word. It's going to tell you um, if it's a noun, if it's a verb, if it's an adjective. And it's go also going to give you um, all the words that you could use that may be synonyms, which are words that mean the same or antonyms, which are words that mean the opposite, or homonyms, which are words that are similar. So all that you could see in the page here, and this is exactly what you would find if you're using a tesseract. okay? So that's just a little review, and we did this before. Um, on page 265, um, you, it says using Rogers tesseract. It says like a dictionary, a tesseract ha has guide words to help you find words quickly. They tell you the part of the speech that the word is giving, slang words that are labeled to let you know not to use them in writing, and it also tell you, tells you um, if it should be in a capital letter, um, it tells you where the synonyms are or which one they are for the words. So that activity on page 265, um, you are going to need to complete, okay? And here on page 266, you're gonna review the synonyms, antonyms, and homonyms, okay? That's what you're going to do on page 266. So it says something A. It says write S in the blank if the two words are synonyms. Write A in the blank if the words are antonyms. So remember, synonyms are words that mean the same. Antonyms are the opposite, okay? Um, then on thing B, you're gonna use your dictionary to find the meaning of each word on the left. Then you're gonna draw a line to its antonym. So you're gonna look at the word on the left you're gonna see what it means, and then you would choose the antonym, which is the opposite. So you're gonna choose the opposite, okay? And on thing C, you are going to correctly spell a homonym for each of the following words. So remember homonyms, we had said that are words that are similar in meaning, okay? Um, that's basically all for lesson of 146 for language. Um, make sure that you do, again, think A, think B, and think C, and that you also do the crossword puzzle that's on page 265, okay? And I will um, see you again tomorrow. Thank you.